Well, hey there, YouTube. What's up? It's Apple iDev here. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to start a video series that's actually going to demonstrate how to use Xcode for Mac OS X Lion 10.7.4 to build Mac applications. Um, recently, we've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to build iOS apps, um, but the problem is that iOS isn't the only platform out there, and we've kind of forgotten about the Mac. So my goal is to provide some tutorials and allow people to actually develop on the Mac as opposed to only on the iPhone and iPod Touch. And these are two systems that use the same programming language and complement each other very nicely. So I figured I'd figure I'd show you guys how to get started on Mac as well as developing on iOS. So if this is your first experience developing um, using Objective-C for any Apple platform, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to open up the App Store. Um, once you're in the App Store, you're going to need to come down to, um, actually it's in the free apps, and when you're in the free apps, you're going to see Xcode here. Uh, it's under the Developer Tools category also. And you can see I already have it installed, but um, you're going to need to install it. Um, it'll install an application. The one change that this version does make is if you've used Xcode 3 in the past, there's no longer a developer folder. Um, everything is stored within the application itself, which is good and bad at the same time. There's a lot less customization you can do, but at the same time, it's all really good. Um, for this, the other thing that you'll notice is you'll, you're going to want a fast internet connection in some time because it is a one and a half gigabyte file, um, which granted is smaller than it's been in the past, but you're still going to want to make sure that you have some time and a good internet connection. Um, Again, the current version is version 4.3.2, and it is free on the uh, Mac App Store. Um, I've actually already downloaded Xcode, so we're going to actually go over here and open up Xcode. Sorry, it actually ended up over here. And we'll open up Xcode. And we're going to wait for it to load. And once it uh, loads, I don't know if it'll show you the last project I had open. It should, um, using Mac OS X Lion's... Uh, restore feature, but let's wait for it to load up here for a sec. Yeah, it is. All right. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to close out that project and all right. Now this is the window you'll see when you first open up Xcode. Obviously these won't be there um, just because you won't have had have used any projects before. If you have developed using Xcode, uh, this will be populated with your previous projects. You can see I've kind of been messing around for a bit there. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to build our first ever Xcode project. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to click here called Create a New Xcode Project. And uh, under Mac OS X application here, we're going to click Cocoa Application and click Next. Now the one thing you're going to want to do in Finder, um, and this is something that I've done that you're going to want to do, to do also, Go to your home folder and make a developer folder. And we'll do this here so you don't have to see all of my stuff. You can see this is where I have all of my um, Xcode projects, all of my documents. And it's just a good way to keep everything centralized so you can keep all of your projects in one place. Um, what I am going to do with these tutorials is we are going to make it so that um, it's just going to be one continuous project. So I'm going to make one file and continue updating it throughout all of the tutorials rather than making a brand new project each time to, de to demonstrate different aspects. So hopefully by the end we'll have a full featured application that has a bunch of different um, features and that actually can hopefully be useful. Um, so we're just going to call this um, YouTube Mac Tutorial and my company identifier can be my name and we're not going to worry about anything else. Make sure you have automatic reference counting checked. And uh, you used to have to do that manually, so automatic is nice. And we're just going to save that into our developer folder. Now we have our YouTube Mac tutorial project open. And I'm going to zoom in. Actually, I'm going to stay zoomed out. One thing that you're going to want to look at here is um, I I'm using a um, actually an external display, so my display is very large. But if you're using a display on a smaller computers, specifically like an 11-inch MacBook Air, you need all the screen real estate you can get, which is why you're going to want to come over here and drag that sidebar out. All of the stuff you could access there, you can still access through this navigation bar up at the top here. Um, 
but this way you have some more room on your screen um, and so if you're on a smaller computer that definitely helps um, so next thing you're gonna do don't really worry about any of these settings or anything the one thing I want to show you guys is uh, what comes with it so if we actually uh, sorry we're gonna go to this we're going to say we're actually gonna have to open up that sidebar I guess there we go. I'm going to show you three files that came with it. Um, the first file is your appdelegate.h file. This is your header file. This is where all of your data and method declarations are going to happen. Um, don't worry about too much about what that means. Just know that .h in your file names here stands for header. Um, and the rest we'll kind of worry about later. The next file it comes with is a .m file, or more commonly known as your implementation file. Um, in here, this is where we implement all of our methods. This is where we write all the code that makes stuff happen. And this is where we actually write our application, write all of the code. You can see it already gives us a comment here. It says insert code to initialize your, applica your application. And that's exactly what we'll do in a later tutorial. But this tutorial is just going to be a basic demo at the moment. And the last one is our XIB file, or also known as a nib more commonly. And what a nib file is, is it's your interface builder document. And you can see over here on the left side, we have several different buttons. We have our file owner, our first responder, application. We have our main menu, which is going to be our menu bar at the top here. We have our window, which is going to be the default window that uh, Xcode sets up for us. And we have two more things here, which are app delegate and font manager, which we won't really worry about too much in these tutorials. But you'll see when I clicked on the window, it brought up this default window that Xcode gave us. Um, the other thing that I like to have in my development environment is over here on the left side, in this left sidebar, I like to um, drag this up and give myself a little more space on these buttons here so I can navigate a little more because there really isn't much uh, in that top part that we need to worry about. Um, and the menus are relatively small, but here there's so many different elements. Um, having as much space as possible is good. I'm going to show you guys one other thing, and that thing is up here. If you look at this little icon, it looks almost like a butler. If you click on here, that's called the Assistant Editor. And that's going to be really useful, and we'll use that in the next tutorial. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you that it exists, and that it functions the same way as the main window did. You can get to the same places. Um, you can still edit your code. You can you know, do whatever you want. Um, just know that that's there for now. Uh, we're going to close that back out. And just to show you what this basic application does that is generated automatically, uh, you can see we have all of these menu bars actually, but we're just going to go ahead and click run. And if we click run here, we're going to see that it's loading, linking our files, compiling, and it will launch the application. You can see down here it's actually launched it in the dock. And if you look up here, you can see in our uh, menu bar that it is indeed the forward application and it looks just like it's supposed to. There's nothing on that window. It's just a blank window in application. It's got the same menu options that uh, we had in Xcode. Um, and so that's it. So that's how you're going to create your very first basic application. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to demonstrate uh, strings and buttons. Um, so stick around for that, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, Apple iDev, signing out.